guys i'm super excited about today's video my huge fat fit fun box came in um so you will be getting several videos out of this as you always do with fat fit fun because i always get a mystery bundle to do a mystery bundle battle with wendy g she has not received her box yet so i don't have any dates yet when i do you guys will know if you watch the channel but definitely keep an eye out for that subscribe hit the notification bell that we always include a giveaway with that I also got the mystery home bundle, which is something new they did this season. So I'm going to make that its own video. So let's pull out this bad boy. This video will be strictly just the box, which I am like obsessed with the print this season. I have always had a thing for like popsicle print. I don't know if you guys remember Lola Rue. It was like a big thing. Lola Rue, however it used to be pronounced. Uh, they're still around, but they definitely not as popular anymore because there's been a lot of backlash with them. But it's like a MLM company. They used to sell like leggings and dresses. And I was, I had at least two different popsicle print leggings that I was like obsessed with. I got some notes in front of me today. I'm trying to be professional. <laughs> but how cute is this print? So let's open it up. So you guys can see what I got in my FabFitFun box. I even love that it's sprinkled on the inside. This is like a more recycled material now too. They started doing that last few seasons. We always get the FabFitFun magazine and some coupons. Ooh, they, we got stickers again. Nice summer themed stickers, which I will definitely use in my journaling and stuff. Let me put that aside. Let's see if they included what was in the box i wrote everything out watch this time they included it um i don't think so actually no how do you oh yeah nope right here it's a qr code now which i am fine with like i understand if you certain companies do that now so you don't have to like kill as many trees like you know printing a box printing a magazine but they're still printing the magazine they're still using two full pages for the qr code so they might as well give us the info we want. But the magazine is kind of nice because it'll show the products that were included in the box. Like the Fenty mascara, the blow dryer, and it'll give you like tips and tricks. You know, skincare for you. And it shows all the different skincare products and it talks about which ones you should use if you have dry skin, soft, uh, soft skin. Uh, oily skin fun in the sun and it talks about things you should pack for the perfect day in the sun and of course they're going to include all their fab fit fun products they always have some recipes so i always hold on to these and look through it so let's get right into what i picked for category one i will say i wasn't as excited for this box as other boxes you guys know if you've watched other videos of mine i will have like a million add-ons because i can't decide what i want and i actually do not have a lot of add-ons is there, are they even in here the add-ons Oh, I might have to check. Oh, wait. There's one. No, I wonder if it's in the box. I'm going to have to look better after. But anyway, I only did add-ons in two categories. And one of the add-ons is for Joe. It's not even for me. Because I wasn't too, like, into this box this season. To be honest with you guys. You guys let me know what you think. But my choice for number one. Wait a minute. Oh, here it is. I was going to say. Where is it? was right here it was the draper james woven woven seagrass tray let's take it out of the bag so you guys can see it it is a 15 by 10 inch tray i was actually looking at trays like this at like home goods cj max marshall because i wanted something cute to put my mail in so when i saw this was an option for fab fit fun and there was nothing else in the category that really excited me i said you know what i'm just gonna get it in the fab fit fun and it'll just be one of my choice items um i don't know i thought it was gonna have higher sides i don't know i was expecting a little bit more to be honest with you guys but i like it i mean i don't see the 45 dollars value i could get this for 12.99 15.99 whatever at tj maxx um but it says each piece is un naturally unique colors may vary and it's just a little draper james tag the other options in this, well, I'll go through really quickly. And that's why I'm missing one of my add-ons because this was the only category I did an add-on. And I got the IGK Legendary Dream Hair Shampoo. 
Legendary Dream Hair Shampoo and Conditioner Set because I love IGK products. I have picked them up in the add-on sales. They do amazing things for my hair. Even in the add-on sale, I want to say I got, I paid $50 once for a set, but I will say it was like 16 ounce bottles. They were massive and they had a pump, so it was worth it to me. So for $15 to add on these bottles, they are smaller. It's a $62 value. I think they're only eight ounces. I thought I would have it here to show you guys. So I do not know. I'm going to have to contact FabFitFun because the only thing left in that box is my two bundles. Um, but I did pay the $15 add-on for that. And then the other options was a Foxy Bay uh, Rose Gold Blowout Dryer Brush valued at $190. And I thought it was ridiculous that they charged a $10 add-on if you picked it. They said because it was a premium product with a high ticket value. Guys, they just last season, they had a robe that was valued at over $200. They didn't make us do $10 for that. Why? Because it doesn't. It wasn't really a two hundred dollar value. That's what FabFitFun wanted to make it look like it was. Foxy Bay. It really is a hundred and ninety that hundred ninety dollar product. You guys tell me what you thought of it. Did you do it? I know I did it. I already paid enough for the box. I did not want to do a ten dollar add on, and I actually have a dryer brush. And then the other option was a shoulder bag, which the shoulder bag was really cute, but it was on the smaller side. And for my size, I feel like I need to have bags that are proportionate to my body. So I feel like a really small bag just looks weird on me. Also for crossbody, because I am wider, I have to have uh, a longer strap. Like I, I need at least a 22 inch drop. Whenever I wanna buy bags online, I always look up the description because if it's not long enough, it'll be uncomfortable on me and it didn't look very long. That was $125 value. Then there was an Elemis Pro Collagen Night Cream for $100. You guys know I don't usually get skincare. Um, and then the last two choices, one of them was the Free People Seamless Bralette for 60. Um, it only went up to a 2X and 2X in Free People um or at least in the size chart for the bra i don't know about their clothes could be different because i know bigger people that wear free people like extra large they say their sizing is really oversized but i was saying the bra it was like a two um the extra extra large i think equals like a size 18 i didn't want to risk it or at least i imagined maybe i'm imagining that i don't remember anymore but i know an extra extra large is not for me you guys know i say that all the time i am truly plus size so i stay away from close choices i even picked the robe last season and it got an in plus and it still didn't fit me. So I don't bother. And then the last thing was a throwback and it was the Society6 Outdoor Blanket valued at 60. I had actually thought about it, but then I had gone to Target around the week before I customized and I bought an outdoor blanket there. So I did not need it. In this category, if you wanted to add anything on, it was a $15 add-on. Like I said, I got the shampoo and the shampoo. I'm gonna have to contact FabFitFun. But there was an additional $10 add-on for the hair dryer brush. I don't know. Category two is a $15 add-on. I did not add anything on in this category. No, um, there's only one other category and it's category three and I'll show it to you guys. But it was the options were a first aid beauty set. It was an ingrown hair pads plus the KP bumper eraser valued at 40. Um, I already have the KP eraser that came in another box. I do not have bumpy skin. I don't have, issue. I think a KP stands for something per, per I'm not even going to try to say it, but it's like the chicken skin. But Joe actually has issues with that. So I gave him that scrub. I haven't noticed a difference since he started using it, but he also doesn't use it religiously. Um, but I didn't need another one, so I didn't get that. The second option, the second and third options were both canisters. That's, I mean, it wasn't very, I feel like a lot of it was throwbacks. A lot of it was like products like that, two, two of the same thing. But anyway, Second one was Material Kitchen Stacking Canister. It was a set of two light at 35. The third one was Z Gallery Multi-Use Storage Duo, Duo, valued at 45. The only difference was the Material Kitchen, I believe was glass with like a bamboo top, where the Z Gallery was like black and metal. And then number four, the fourth product, which is what I got, was the Lily Pulitzer Lounge Towel, valued at $48. This was literally the only thing I wanted in this category. And I was scared because they were saying this was probably going to be the product that sold out the quickest. And I can't get on till three because I work every time they do the release. I wish they did a different time. Um, but thankfully, it did not sell out. So I got it. Um, and it's valued at $48. I love Lily Pulitzer. Um, I'm hoping it's a decent sized towel because I do like bigger towels because I am bigger. Uh, the print's really cute. So that's what I grabbed. I'm not super excited about it, but it's what I got. And then the other option was a throwback. It was the 
summer soft neoprene beach bag in blue green i think that was available last summer last summer was in green and in pink but for this one it was only the blue green you could get it was 80 dollars. i have so many beach bags so it's not something i needed number six was something i considered other than the lola pulitzer and it was the way scalp and body scrub um i have a lot of body scrubs but i figured i could use it as a scalp scrub and if you guys watch my shower routine here on youtube you guys know i love using scalp scrubs but i watch Catherine mccarty's videos all the time on fabfitfun and she actually said she did not like it for a scalp so she used it for her body so i said you know what i'm just gonna go with the towel safest choice category three um the first two items one was us only and one was canada only they are both sunscreens the one that was U.S. only was by Tula. It was a $36 value. The one that was Canada only was Kula, uh, which is a $32 value. Wait, did I just say that again? Tula, $36. Kula, $32. Okay. It's because of Tula and the Kula. It might have been pronouncing it right. It's C-O-O-L-A. I actually have a sunscreen by Kula because it's more of a natural product from what I've heard. I know a lot of people who use it and love it and you like never see recalls on it like you do on other ones. I had that issue last summer. I had a sunscreen, it was recalled, get to the beach. I said, oh my God, I can't use this and I burned. So I ended up buying the cooler and I still have the cooler. So I, I was like, I don't need a sunscreen. The product I did the $10 add-on for was this right here. It was the New Balance Ab Wheel. New Balance is a good brand. I love their sneakers. It's the only sneakers I wear for work. My boyfriend really wanted this because he has been um, trying to work out. He's been going for walks every single day. Really proud of him because he works hard. Uh, but he's been taking that half hour to hour every single day. And this targets the abs, the arms, the shoulders, and the back. So we asked for it. I'm like, you know what? It's only 10 bucks. I will get it for him. But that's it. That's what it's just sold. My two, well, you see my add-on for the shampoo and conditioner, but you know. That was it. Everything else, I just got one product in each category, which is shocking for me. Um the next thing was a dr brandt skincare do not age time defying cream at 132 again i don't do skincare the next product was the fenty beauty full frontal volume lift and curl mascara value at 24 i wanted something fenty beauty they had it last box but last box i wanted everything and i had so much makeup so i didn't allow myself to get it i wish it had been anything but the mascara i probably would have picked it but i have so much mascara so i skipped on it the next product was a cosmetics First Blush Brightening Akai Infused In Shower Face Mask for $54. I thought about it for a little bit, but again, I have skincare. The next thing is what I got. The Bubble Bear and Bubble Bar and Sanctuary Project Build Your Own Next Necklace Bundle. It comes with the clasp, a two-inch extender, a four-inch extender, and it is the Rose Serenity Necklace. It's worth $76. And the Sanctuary Project has um it, they give money to a charity definitely look into it but i decided to go with this even part of me was like man i don't even really need this i have like a lot of jewelry should i just get the ab wheel for joe but because it was not just a necklace because it included clasps and extenders i said you know what i'm gonna get it because i have necklaces that are shorter on me and i would love to have a little extender for them and i found this to be so beautiful so i did decide to make this my choice item and add the ab wheel for joe as the ten dollar add-on because it was cheap enough and then the last thing was a throwback it was the ray dunn guac and salsa bowls valued at forty dollars you guys know i love ray dunn i picked that when it was originally in the box the first time use it all the time when i do dinner parties a wicked cute set if it wasn't something i already had i would have got it again I, that would have been my choice is what i'm trying to say it wasn't worth me getting again but if it was my like first time getting fab fit fun that was an option that's definitely what i would have gone for category four so one two three and four if you are seasonal these are the categories you can pick from if you are annual you can only pick five and six category four goes down it's seven dollars to add on this is when i'm like Ooh, only seven dollars i tend to get a lot but i did not this time you could have had an Illamasqua Gel Sculpt Contour. Came in three different shades. Outline, Shadow, and Silhouette for $32. I have so much makeup, and I don't even usually contour, so no thank you. The second product was a Lasting Smile Sea Salt and Citrus Candle, valued at $45. I know people have been saying it smells really good, but it was on the smaller side. I'm used to my Bath & Body 3-Wit Candle. I'm pretty sure that was a single wit candle, and I have so many candles. I buy them the uh, Bath & Body Work Sales all the time, or I'll pick them up at TJ Maxx. Did not need a candle. The next thing was the Wish 
Rose Hip and Lotus Firming Sleep Mask, Light at 58. Again, tons of skincare. Even though I have skincare, I did pick the next product, which was this. It was the Truly Clear, Truly Gone Acne Patches, valued at $30. I do love acne patches. I pick them up all the time in the sale. I've actually picked up this exact brand. Um, I think it was like $9 in the sale. Um, but it does say here it's valued at $30. Of course, the sales make it cheaper. So it was like not an exciting product but i'll use it so i was like you know what i'm gonna get this one because even though i have some patches right now eventually i will go through them like i just used one here the other day because i was like popping there was a pimple popping up like right where my glasses sit which was super annoying um but i love throwing these on overnight and then the next day it's it's not completely gone but it really diminishes the size of the pimple and also i'm a picker so this really helps me not to pick it comes out with comes with 72 it says, new, invisible, and easy peel design, natural and gentle protective formula, latex-free, gluten-free, vegan. And it says two sizes in the resealable pouch. So you get a smaller one and a bigger one, which is really good depending on the size of your pimples. So grab that. I even used to keep them on my face during the day, back in the day when we wore the masks more. And then the last two products, one was another skincare. It was a throwback. It was the Tula Skincare, the Cult Classic Purifying Facial Cleanser. Valued at $28. I picked that up last time it was in the box. I haven't even used it yet, so I don't need another one. But I do love Tula Skincare. I will say that. And then the next thing was also a throwback. Like I said, not very exciting. It was the Poolside Water Resistant Pouch. Valued at $35. Those do come in handy, but you can literally buy... I've seen the, the summer pouches in Target Dollar Spot. You can even technically probably buy... I've even seen them at Dollar Tree. Um, and they this one was actually even on the smaller side. I found ones that are bigger. And because my bathing suits are plus size, they have a lot more fabric. That little one was not going to be good for me. Because I think of it as you put your wet bathing suit in when you get out of work. I mean, when you get out of the pool. But I know people will just use it too, like to put their phone in and stuff like that. I usually just keep my phone nowhere near the water. If I'm in the pool... It's at the table, like the table on the deck. If I'm in the water at the beach, it's at my beach tower. You know what I mean? So, and then you can even sell, they even sell the clear water resistant bags on Amazon where you can even touch your phone while it's in there. You're better off with that. That's what you're using it for. All right. So category five is the first category where only annuals can customize. Uh, it's $7 add-on. I grabbed the first product on the list, which was the Soar Desk Mat. Um, it's a desk pad. I love having these on my desk. I love that this one is black with white polka dots. I had just thrown away the one I had. I had a really pick cute one. It was blue that I picked up from the sales. Um, just so you can get a better look at the print here. And it had like little daisies on it. It has like a rubber backing too, so it kind of stays put. Uh, but my cat peed on it. She was in heat and she crawled on my desk and she peed on it. And I cleaned the pee off, but she also like scratches at it. So it just wasn't attractive anymore. I had literally just thrown it out days before I found out that that was going to be in the FabFitFun box. So I'm like, oh, perfect. And nothing else in this category really like called to me. So that was perfect. I was like, okay, I'm just going to get that. The next thing was a throwback item. It was the TF Publishing Brain Teasers and Activity Book valued at 26. You guys know I love little activity books. I'm always picking up word searches and sticker books and stuff like that. I did get that when it was a throwback. If it was two totally different books, I might have done it, but they were the same books. I kept debating on getting it as an add-on to give to someone as a gift. Like my mom loves stuff like that. But I was really, because I am also trying to shop intentionally, I was really trying to limit only like one thing per category. So it kind of worked out. This one not exciting me as much. So I decided to pass on it. But that's valued at 26. The next two things were both Ahava products. But one was an essential day moisturizer for normal to dry skin. And the other one was an essential day moisturizer for combination skin. Both valued at $69. Again, I have tons of skincare. Then it was the Grace and Stella Pink Eye Masks 12-pack, valued at $24. I almost bought these because I was like, oh, it's only $7 to add on. But it was actually sold out. But I'm kind of glad I didn't get it because, like I said, I need to be more intentional with my shopping. Um, I do love eye patches, but I have some eye patches. I mean, would it be nice to have a little bit backup? Yeah, but that's okay. I can always pick it up in the add-on sales and the edit sales when I really need it. Um, although I do really like Grace and Stella. 
Um, and then the next thing was also another Grace and Stella product. It was If Eyes Could Smile Cream. Valued at 35. I have tons of eye cream. I am all set. <coughs> Number seven was a cuticle oil. I don't know. We had a cuticle oil in the past. I don't know. So I don't know if this is a throwback. I have it in my nose. Throwback question mark. Because I don't know if it's the same exact one that we had in the past. That was a Fab Fit Fun pick. So you couldn't pick it. It was Fab Fit Fun would pick it for you. Uh, which they put as throwback. So it's possible. But it was, I don't even know how to say this name, Pran. Chuchico. C-U-C-C-I-O. Natural milk and honey cuticle oil. Valued at $18. Category six. This is what I was talking about. This is what used to be Fab Fit Fun Picks. They used to pick three items to throw in a box. It was always a surprise. Um, now, we can pick them if we are annual. Because again, Category 5 and 6 is only if you are annuals. You can also do $10 add-ons. They changed it up a little bit because now, before it was, you were always guaranteed the three products, so it was always an eight product box. But now, you only... Oh, what? Oh, oh I think I got a free product. I'm like, I should only have one other thing in here. All right, I will show you that in a second. Um, oh, and this is with the necklaces. I was wondering, I'm like, wait, where's my clasps and extenders? I was like, I might have to contact Fabfit Fun for that. I thought maybe it was taped up in here. No, it came in a separate little baggie. But anyway, now they did it where you can pick a one product and you would only have a six, bund a six product box. Or you can pick a bundle of products, which would either be two products or three products. So you might even have just a seven product box. So, but you know, the values all are generally the same. So you get three, um items for the same value or one item for the same value or two items for the same value this is the most confusing category so i apologize guys uh what it's new and again ten dollar add-on but i didn't really add anything on the first option was an anastasia beverly hills lipstick valued at 20 there was two different versions it was either a matte finish in shade velvet or a satin finish in shade butterscotch i have so many lipsticks the next product was a watch, a Monroe watch in rose gold valued at 105. This was a throwback item. And I remember mixed reviews about it after it came out. Plus, I'm not a big watch person, so I was all set. Product number three, again, another throwback was the Sonics Bluetooth speaker valued at $45. I have so many little speakers. My boyfriend is obsessed with speakers and music and headphones. I am all set. The next throwback item was a Virginia Wolf multi-wear wrap. Um valued at 60 again another throwback i don't know if i said that i'm jumbling all my words here but i know Catherine mccarty loved her she even said she was gonna pick it up again i know i had like 80 inches of fabric so even if you're bigger it says that you can work with it use it as a sarong or you know a little shawl however way you want it but like i said i never get anything with clothes wise i know that's not technically clothes but i have like over 60 inch hips so even 80 inches yeah it would wrap around me but how much extra fabric would there be to do something else you know it would only probably work as a sarong for me wasn't really worth it the next thing was the billion dollar brows condition color and control bundle valued at 63 dollars um i don't do anything on my brows i tell you guys that all the time i am not an eyebrow person i know billion dollar brows is a really good brand so it's nice that it showed up in the box but not something i wanted Number six, I don't even remember this being in spoiler videos. You guys have to tell me if you... I thought maybe they added it on last minute because I know they've been doing that lately. I literally was going to get a throwback item, which I will talk about in a second. But I was like, when I saw that, I said, oh, I don't remember seeing that. You know what? I'm going to pick that up, which is what I got, which is this right here. And it is the Natra, if that's how you pronounce the name brand, Natra Ecos. Um... Brazilian Maru Maru, if that's how you say that, leave-in conditioner. Um, I figured it would work really well for my dry hair. It's valued at $27. Um, and yeah, it says you literally just apply all the way to the ends on dry or damp hair, avoiding the roots. Do not rinse. This is a leave-in treatment. And it says it's 95% natural origin. It says the Maruru Butter Reconstruction fills in each strand's deepest layer. So I wanted to give that a shot. It reduces frizz, helps with split ends. I have all of that. So leaves hair strands stronger and healthier. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get that. The other two options I thought was ridiculous with FabFitFun. 
was a Fakai Technician color shampoo valued at $24. And then a whole nother one, this is totally separate, this is not a bundle, is Fakai Technician Color Conditioner at $24. So they were basically, if you picked one, you were going to pay $10 for the add-on. To me, they should have done that as a bundle. Like, I don't know, I feel like they really slack in this box. Like, you have one product that's worth $63 and then another product that's worth $24. They used to try to even it out a little bit. And it used to be higher value, so I don't know. I really don't know. You, like I said, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, the next product is an Indie Lee Co-Q10 Toner. I have tons of skincare. Valued at 36 The next two bundles were the two bundles I was debating on getting before I saw this it, as an option. And one of them was the Ciate London Watermelon Dewy Setting Spray with a My Tan Rapid Recovery After Sun Gel. Valued at $55. I have both those products. So I was only going to pick it because there was nothing else that excited me. But I figured it was products I would use. I do really like the setting spray. It has a nice watermelon scent. It feels good on my skin. So I figured whatever. I'll have a backup when that one is done. And the Rapid Recovery After Sun Gel I still have under my bathroom sink. I used it when I had a sunburn. It felt really good. So I figured it can't hurt to have another one. Um, well, like I said, since I saw this, I grabbed this. I think instead of having extra products, I'd rather have something I don't have. And I kept debating on it with the next and last option, which was the ESPA Exfoliating Body Polish and the Vioche Manicure Sets. I have tons of body polish products, so it wasn't really for that. I was debating what's with the Vioche Manicure Set because I do really like those. I don't use them. I bite my nails to you guys all the time, but I have given many as gifts. I've also put many in giveaways and people seem to really, really like them. I picked them up in the sales in the mask. I haven't really seen them in the sales recently. So I thought that might be the only way I could get it. But I said, do I really want to get it? Cause then I don't really want the body polish. So then I said, maybe I should just do with the two products I really know and love. And then I ended up seeing this as an option and just picked up this, but that bundle was valued at $58. Now, here is the free products I was talking about. This is just nothing big. I've seen, I've gotten a million of these in other boxes. A liquid IV in guava. That flavor is new. I will definitely try this. They say it adds way more hydration than just regular water. Oh, there's also a quote for 30% off next time you buy something. Hmm. But this is the product. And I saw people, Um, I saw, I think I only saw one unboxing so far. And the woman thought she chose it. But unless they effed up with me, because I did not choose this and it's in my box. It is the KO Body Scrubber. Um. Oh, this is one of the coupons. It landed in the box. I thought this was going to talk about the scrubber. No, this is if I want to try Daily Harvest. That's one of the coupons. Um... Yeah, because I did not pick this. I don't even have this written down. Nothing. But I will definitely use this. I have a face scrubber I use all the time. It'll be nice to have one for my body. It's the same thing. It's a silicone one that I use. Obviously, the smaller version. I'll have a nice bigger one for my body. I do use sponge gel, and that already kind of has a scrub in there. Um, but I'll still get use out of this one. Or I can save this one for my boyfriend. Oh, maybe when he does this hell kp stuff um i'm excited to use this so i think that was the only exciting thing because i got a free product or oh, they screwed up on me i don't know but you guys tell me what you think i definitely have to look into uh why i didn't get my shampoo and conditioner um i think this was a very lackluster box this is the thing that excited me the most because i didn't know i was getting it uh the only things i like really really love honestly is the necklace but i have so many necklaces um I honestly do really like the desk mat and the woven tray and the towel. I will definitely use this, you know what I mean? But it's not anything like super exciting. But I think this will be cute for my... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I do think the basket will be cute for my mail and the towel will be cute in the summer. But that is everything I got in my FabFitFun box. You guys let me know if you like it like this where I'm giving you the info on the other products. Or do you want me to just stick to the products I have? Um, I used to do it that way, and then when they stopped including the magazine, I wasn't doing it. But today, I took the extra time to write things down. I know me, particularly, I like knowing the other options. Um, but you guys, let me know if you got FabFitFun, what was your most exciting item, how you felt about the box. Like I said, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video if you like the video, if you like me, if you like FabFitFun. 
keep an eye out because like I said, I will be doing a mystery bundle battle with Wendy Jean and I will also be, I'm about to film it right now, my whole mystery bundle. I'm really curious to see what is in that. I canceled, I used to get the $15 bundle and the mask bundle, but I'm like I said, I'm really trying to be more intentional. So I told myself since I'm canceling those two, I'll allow myself to get this one. I don't know if I'll get it every box because that's what those are. It's refills that you get with every box, but I will definitely want to see at least what this one is, see what it's all about because it's new. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.